Good day everyone, this is Teacher Jess and for today we'll be talking about Lesson 6. Lesson 6 is all about Encyclopedia. What is an encyclopedia? Encyclopedia is a comparison or collection of information from all branches of knowledge. It follows the same rules as a dictionary. Why? Because it also has guide words, entry words, and meaning. But it is more comprised than a dictionary. Most of the time, a single letter holds a volume. It has a volume since it is a compilation of knowledge and is arranged alphabetically. Here's an example of set of volumes of an encyclopedia. Usually, there are only one letter per volume, but as you can see in volume number 3 and volume number 4, the letter C has so much information in it that it has been split into two volumes. Meanwhile, you would notice that in volume 6, letter E and letter F shares only one volume. That is because they only have few information, unlike the letter C. Now, how to use an encyclopedia? Always look up at the last name of a person if you're looking for an article or information about a certain person. Example, to find an article about Manny Pacquiao, look under Pacquiao or letter P. So, example, this is the set of volumes of encyclopedia and you are looking for information about Manny Pacquiao. What volume do you think should you get? Very good. You should get volume number 10. Why? Because Pacquiao starts with letter P and volume 10 has the letter P. Very well. Next. Teacher, what if we're looking for information about a certain country? Always look up at the first name of a city, a state, or a country. Example, you're going to find information or an article about New York City. Therefore, you should look under the word new. If this is the set of encyclopedia, what volume should you get if you are looking for an article about New York? Very good. You should go on to volume number 9. Why? Because New York City starts with letter N. New York City. Is that clear? Very good. Now, teacher, I need to find an article about brown bears. What should I look or where should I look at? In the brown or in the bears? In that case, Always look up on the most important word in a general topic. So, what is the more or most important part in the word or in the phrase brown bear? Is it the brown or is it the bear? Very good. It's the bear. Therefore, in this set of encyclopedia, what should you get? What volume should you get to go or to look for an article about brown bears? Very good. Volume number 2 because bear starts with letter B. Is that clear? Okay, next. Now, determine the volume number of the book you may refer to for the given topic. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number 1. Which volume would you use to find information about Christmas? Volume number Three. Very good. Volume number three. Why? Because Christmas is starting with letter C. You're doing great. Number two. Which volume would you use to find information about Manuel El Quezon? Volume number? Very good. Volume number 11. Why volume number 11? Very good. Because Manuel El Quezon's last name is Quezon. And it's a rule that if you're looking for a person's information, you should start with his or her last name. Next, number three. Which volume would you use to find information about polar bears? Correct. Volume number two. 
What's more important here? The polar or the bears? Correct, the word bears. That's why you will get it in volume number two because volume number two contains information about the words that starts with letter B. How about number four? Which volume would you use to find information about different types of aircrafts? What is the most important word in this context? Very good, aircrafts. So what will be the volume number? Correct, it's in volume number one. Why? Because aircraft start with letter A. How about the last one, number five? Which volume would you use to find information about flower and its parts? Again, volume number five. Very good. Why? Because flower starts with letter F. Again, what is an encyclopedia? An encyclopedia is a comparison or collection of information from all branches of knowledge. Is that clear? Therefore, see ya!